Hello, Happy New Year to you all. I'm Mark from Hope for Horses UK. I'm so sorry it's been a long time since we've done any kind of update with the campaign. However, in the background it's been a busy time. Earlier on in the year we had a really productive and encouraging meeting with Sue Heyman, who is the Shadow Environment Secretary and an avid animal welfare supporter. And recently we were able to tell Michael Gove um, during a meeting how things were with the equine crisis which is still going on and we also were able to put forward some solutions. Now the reason the campaign has been quiet is that I'm sure just like you we are sick and tired of seeing these grim images coming onto our screens on Facebook and it, it becomes emotionally very very draining. But during our meeting with Sue Heyman she asked us if we could raise awareness amongst MPs about the current equine crisis and obviously about what needs to happen. Now, it may seem, it, certainly when you're in the middle of this kind of stuff, it feels incredible that they don't know. But the fact of the matter is, with the equine crisis being actually quite low down on the list of priorities with Brexit, etc., we, uh, we're in this position where if we're going to see anything at all happen with horses and for horses, we have got to get mega busy in terms of telling these people what we need to, to, to happen. We're faced at the moment with the Central Equine Database simmering away in the background. We've been promised and promised we are going to, we're going to have it. However, the problem with the existing Central Equine Database is that it is flawed from the word go. The data that Bramble Hub have at this moment in time we know for a fact is inaccurate. It's a ridiculous situation to have 69 separate passport issuing organisations. It just it is just absolute chaos. What we've said to Michael Gove is that we just need the one to oversee the whole lot. Now we began this campaign in terms of asking for the enforcement of the existing animal welfare laws on behalf of neglected horses. But as time's gone on, we've learnt very, very clearly that without the central equine database in place and enforced, we have nothing. Because the central equine database will provide us with identification, which will provide us with accountability, which will provide us with the tools for enforcement. I'm saying the we as a very royal we, obviously it's not myself. But no charity, no authority can do or is capable of doing an awful lot without that fundamental pathway to identification. The proposals that we put forward to Michael Gove incorporate budgeting for its, its implementation and its, uh, its, its generation, etc, etc. So we're, we're just praying at the moment that um, some of that will have sunk in and some of it will become actioned upon. Now, this is where we have a, a, a massive change in the campaign. I'm afraid we're going to be going back to some of these gruesome images on occasion. I'm afraid we will be re-highlighting some of the issues that are going on. However, we have secured a fantastic tool whereby we can engage with MPs at a click of a button. So, what we're going to be asking, nay, pleading, is that with the subsequent posts that follow on the page, could you please get active with it? Because without you, we can't do a thing. It's numbers that are going to count in this. And we have to work doubly hard because the equestrian situation is way, way low down. The vast majority of people drive past horses and they're just those things that eat grass in a field and that's it. So please help us. Please have a look at what we're going to be doing. This new tool I'm very excited about because like I say, Put your name in, put your postcode in, press send and whack, you've sent an, M an email to an MP. And we really, really need to raise that profile in there. It's the only way we're going to get listened to. Have a safe new year, have a productive new year, peaceful, healthy, but please, please stay with us and give these horses the voice that they actually need to have. Cheers.